Welcome back to One Beer Job. What the hell was that? See that? It's not for me, I promise. Anyway, what we're doing today, One Beer Job is, yep, toilet is running. Reminds me of a joke. Reminds me of a joke that me and my brothers used to do. We used to prank call people and ask them if their toilet or refrigerator was running. So you get on the phone, hey, is your toilet or refrigerator running? They say, yeah, well then you better go catch it. Yeah, we were dumb kids. But anyway, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be replacing the guts out of this toilet. Uh, as you can see, this toilet's fairly old. It's got some uh, older things in there. And we're going to replace it with a new set. The set we're going with is the Fluid Master. And it's the universal fit um, and it's gonna look like this so yeah we're gonna replace all this stuff there's not much in there um, but we're gonna go ahead and start knocking this out all right first things first you're gonna have to shut your water off those of you that don't know how to shut your water off it's right down there at the bottom um, all of these things typically leak if you've Never had to replace one before. Mine's leaking just a little bit when when you move it. So I just put a little towel underneath it. And now what we're gonna do, oh, how did I know my to toilet was leaking? Um, an extra $30 on my bill. So I tested the flapper first, the flapper worked, and so it's coming from um, the fill valve. So we're just gonna replace both. I mean, no use of replacing one without the other. So with the water off, we're just gonna keep everything open to allow as much water to get out of there as possible. And then I know that the water is gonna come out once I unscrew this part right down here, this valve. Um, then all the water is going to come out at that point. So I want to make sure that I do that. So down here at the bottom, you're going to have to unscrew that. <coughs> and unscrew this one first. And then get up there and unscrew that one. So hang on. All right, so you can see it. I've taken the guts out of it. And there's still bits and pieces of that washer out. And you, this is... That gasket you definitely want to get those little pieces off you don't want to put another gasket on an old gasket it'll end up creating warp so you definitely want to scrape those things off uh, before you go before you install all right based off of the instructions we put that rubber gasket on there and smart side down so now what we want to do is we want to make sure that that this top piece is three inches above that valve um, these are adjustable. I don't know where's the number on that one. So you can see that those there's numbers there. So like 9, 10, 11, 12, so on and so forth. Um, and that way you can adjust the height of the of the valve itself. And uh, I'm probably just going to adjust this one just a little bit more. Just to make sure that that float works in the right spot. All right, so I went ahead and set mine at 11. And I'll just show you what, what that looks like in here, in the toilet itself. So from here, you can see that there's, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. Um, get this tape out. So for you to look at it from the top, to the bottom of that ring, it's about three inches, and this is sitting right at the height of the bowl of the tank. Um, so, really can't go any up, uh, up any higher. So this is what we're gonna go with. Um, and then we're just gonna put it all together, fill her back up, and go. All right, so we went back in reverse order, we tightened everything up, made sure that there's no leaks. And again, it should go high, hand tighten and then maybe just a quarter of a turn after. It doesn't need to be, you don't need to muscle it down. You don't want to break the porcelain. 
um, but I don't have any leaks. Now, a couple other adjustments. Let me go ahead and sit down on this. All right, so this piece right here. This piece right here adjusts the float, all right? So when you adjust the float, it, it determines how high the water rises here. Now, on this unit right here, I tried to match. I've flushed it three or four times now. I wanted to try to match the water level that was already there on that tube um, and just by screwing this up and up and down, okay? So I wanted to match this water level that was already there and you could see when I flush this again, how close it is. So you can see that there's already like water stains on everything. And that's what I want to make sure that I get up to. I want to make sure that I get back up to that water level just because I know what my water bill was before. I don't want to add too much water into the tank. Just, you know, just enough to get the job done. Uh, the float itself, or the flapper, there's enough play in the chain. Oh, it's hard to get an angle on this. There's enough play in the chain. Um, Keep the handle down and where it's still level and which is what you want to look for and you just keep adjusting it right there until you get it to where you want it so you can see the water stops right there the float is inactive or it's it's now pushed the, the water level up and now it's quiet i don't have any more leaks so that is how you change out the guts of the tank on your on your toilet so like I said we, we replaced the guts of a toilet tank um, and now we can all poop without you know having to hear that little sound of hissing in the back like some snakes coming up behind you not good so hey like and subscribe um, a lot of videos hey merch store coming soon Merch store coming soon, so I'll be able to put that, and I'm gonna go back and put all that stuff in the in the comments um, as you guys go, and you can get yourself some one beer job merchandise. Let's go! But so like, subscribe, enjoy the videos, and uh, we will see you soon. Cheers. Let's go.